People will do anything, just about anything today, to make a dollar. Man, nothing surprises me anymore what people will do. Here's an example. Okay. Let's, here is an example of anything. Ah, uh, Mike Tyson. Well, I supposedly had that set up, but. And he's going to fight that young dude, 27 year old Jake Paul. Man. Now, me and Mike Tyson are pretty close to the same age. Of course, he's in better shape than me, by far. But he's still 58 years old. And you know, let me tell you, when I was a kid, I, I, I boxed for a while. And as a kid, I think I was 15. It's still... Boxing is very, very strenuous. And even though he's in shape, he's still 58 years old. The in, his innards are 58. His heart, his blood, everything is 58. Whereas this other guy, he's 27 in his prime. So let's take a look at what... Tyson's got everything to gain from this. Okay, this whole this whole podcast is not about boxing, so you ladies don't freak out. We're getting to the point. He knows if he can go in there and he can just last a little bit, he's going to make millions of dollars. And it's a sanctioned fight, so it's going to count. But what's the other guy? You know, what has he got to gain? If he wins, he really doesn't have any bragging rights with the boxing community. Because he whooped a 58-year-old man. A guy twice his age. Twice his age. You know, even though he was the greatest ever in boxing, some people say. He's still going to be twice his age. So he can't brag about it. Well, I, but I, I've i seen this kid a few times. Didn't like him. Of course, I don't like most young people anyway today. But he's real cocky. But the secret is, these two are friends. This is a business deal between these two, and they know that. I can tell by when when they show him with, when they show them together, Mike Tyson's always got that grin. And they were friends before this, so it's just a business deal they conjured up. But even if Jake Paul loses, that's he's washed up either way. Nobody's going to want to touch him as a boxer. Well, he whooped an old man. That's a title that uh, nobody wants. Uh, if he loses, well, he can't live it down. But I guess if you're going to lose to an old man, might as well be Mike Tyson, right? I mean, that's, that's the way I see it. What? He could surprise us. And, you know, then there's the element, is, is it going to even be real? Are they going to fake this? Because it... You know, money play, it, yeah, it could be fake. All right, Mike Mike Tyson could win or lay down in the first round. Who knows? It's, it's all rigged anymore. You can't trust anything you see. I need a cup of coffee. But, yeah, the kid, he really doesn't have much to gain from it other than fame. He's already famous. Uh, I don't watch his YouTube channel. I guess he started out as a YouTuber. I guess he's a pretty good boxer. I don't know. I don't get to see these things because I don't watch TV. I don't really get into the Hollywood, the celebrity thing. But this ain't the first time something like this has happened. Uh, I was living in Las Vegas in 1994 when George Foreman, I believe he was 45. He was pretty, he was old for the boxing world at that time. That was unheard of. And George Foreman was a great boxer. And I was actually in the MGM Grand at 2 a.m. after that fight. And I was playing a slot machine. I only lived down the road on Tropicana. Uh, just right down the road. Less, less than a mile. 
And about 2 a.m., I hear all kinds of commotion, and here he comes with his entourage. There was about 15 of them. And I I just, I quit playing, and I just swiveled around in my chair, because I've never been, I met a lot, you know, I ran into a lot of celebrities living in Vegas. I've never been one to, to go crazy over it, you know. They're just people to me. And I just swung around in my chair, and, and he came by, and I said, George, good fight. And he said, you having any luck? And he held his hand out to shake my hand. And I'm like, no, nope, maybe I will now, because you had it. <laughs> and he laughed, and then they went on. So I met him. Uh, but, I, you know, back then, somebody fighting that old, that was that was something. But, yeah, Las Vegas, uh, I ran into a lot of celebrities there. I uh, got... In an elevator in the Circus Circus uh, with Walter Matthau. Don't ask me why he was in there. Seen Red Fox a couple of times. Um, that would have been before I lived there. Who else? Uh, seen Tom Selleck at Lake Mead fishing. Yeah. And, then, and then there was a few other ones, but... You know, like I said, I never made a big deal out of it. I don't, I'm not one that's going to chase after a celebrity. Trust me. I don't care, usually. But it is cool to run into them like that. Uh, you know, and a lot of them old places are gone now. The Sands, and, you know, they used to hang out there a lot. The Rat Pack, all that. So, yeah, what, you know, if the fight's real or it's rigged, whatever, still, it's there's going to be a lot of money spent on this. And I guess it's been postponed because... Mike Tyson fainted or had an episode with an ulcer or something, and now it's postponed. So that ups the stakes even more. That is going to up the stakes. They're going to be betting against Tyson now. Oh, don't don't think that the Las Vegas um, sports books aren't going to be in on all this. They will be. But it's all about, you know, who's to say it really happened or it didn't. Uh, I don't know if they had to divert his flight. I don't, I don't, I see the headlines and I read a few minutes, of, a few lines and, and then I'm done. Uh, yeah, it's just crazy. I mean, who, who's, who's, who's coming out of retirement next? I don't know. Jimmy Carter, is he going to run for president? Whatever. I haven't heard anything, but last I heard he was in hospice. Man, I swear that guy, <laughs> he just, yeah, he just won't go. He will not go. He's got to be close. I'm not sure. A hundred? Close to it, if not over. Um, yeah. So, I got no way. I don't even know how they're going to air that fight. But if, if, if I subscribe to something that I'm not going to subscribe to it just for that fight. I'm not going to. I'm not going to play into that paying $50 for a pay-per-view. You know what I do? I wait till the news the next day. Then I'll know. Saves me the trouble of watching it. But yeah, it, it can't go good for the young guy. I mean, he's going to have bragging rights of beating Mike Tyson if he wins. But he's going to, you know, he, he's an old Mike Tyson. Yeah. But I, you know, even even if you're in top condition at 58 years old, you just can't develop the body that you could when you were younger. You ain't gonna have the cuts. You're still gonna have a dad body. But an older man, this is a fact. An older man, say a man's 40, and a guy messes with him that's 20. That 40-year-old man has a lot more upper body strength than that young man. A lot more. So if the guy knew how to fight, he could destroy the 20-year-old if he was in shape. And that's a fact. Uh, well, medical fact. You know, kind of like certain foods you eat are bad for you, but they're really good for you. Yeah, that's another thing we'll get into another time. But... Uh, Doctors only tell you, they want to sell you prescriptions, things like that. So the things that are actually good for you, they're going to disagree with. 
Oh, well, let me get a drink of this coffee. So that's going to be, let me see. Yeah, Mike Tyson's birthday is June 30th. Mine's, well, I ain't telling you because I don't celebrate them. Birthdays are for women and children, and that's it. Grown men should not celebrate their birthdays. You can do this up to the age 21. And after 21, you don't have them anymore because you're a man. And men don't brag or, or harp about it being their birthdays. That's just the way I feel. I don't tell anybody. Nobody, because it's no big deal. It's a day. You know, women, they can celebrate their birthdays. You know, some people, they celebrate the whole month, and they want you to know it's their birthday month. One thing on Facebook drives me nuts. It's my birthday month. Well, you're 59 years old. You don't have them anymore. You know? <laughs> you, you, you just, they're lucky. They're lucky birthdays because you're alive still. That's what you have. But no, I don't believe grown men should be harping about birthdays. And if you do, fine. If it's something that makes you happy, fine. Not me. I hate them. I actually hate them. And the only, there's only a few people left on earth that know about mine. And that's family. But I don't go around saying, it's my birthday. Can I get a free cup of coffee? I'm 59 and a half. <laughs> I just tell you people like I see it. Well, you know, my mind works different than a lot of you. But that's just one of the things. Birthdays. Oh. All right, guys. Thanks for watching. We'll see you tomorrow. Happy trails. And there was something else I was going to say, but I can't remember. And usually those are the things that aren't important. I mean, it, it yeah. So, happy day.